Start a bit, start a bit, run. Reading comics, twists are hella sick. Start a So maybe he's been sliding around on his butt. Hey, what's up you guys? Shardimus Prime here, doing another Marvel Legends action figure review on the 80 Years Vintage Collection X-Force Deadpool. If you try to pick up your Marvel Legends, you can do so in Megalopolis, City, City of Collectibles. Where you can pick up your Marvel Legends and all kinds of other action figures. They have their daily deals and an awesome rewards points program. So check them out, link in the description below. So just like the Great Hulk, this figure comes in a white mailer right over here. So you can see that, and I like that image of Deadpool, and you can see another image of Deadpool on the back, looking pretty cool. Uh, and then it just says the Uncanny X-Men X-Force on the top and nothing at the bottom. And for a package comparison, you can see the Grey Hulk package right next to the Deadpool package, and the Deadpool package is very tiny. And this actually looks pretty awesome, very much taking me back to the 90s. And he has a katana and another katana. And then on the back right over here, we get all kinds of text, and you can see Deadpool kind of jumping into the wave right here, the previous X-Men Vintage Collection wave. If you want to read the back right over here, it's pretty fun. You know, I had a good time reading it. It's nice seeing Hasbro having fun with Deadpool, so I like this. And then on the side, you can see there's nothing going on, nothing on the top, or at the bottom, so let's get to it and crack this thing open. And here's Deadpool out of the packaging. This might be a new Mutants Deadpool, right? I don't know, we'll get into that more in a little bit, but I like the new paint apps that I'm seeing so far already, and we get more accessories with this figure than the last version, which makes me happy. So let's get a closer look at those, then we'll take a closer look at Deadpool. And here's all the accessories that we get with Deadpool, and while we're looking at these toy guns over here, I just wanted to take a moment to say thank you to all the men and women that serve and have served in our US military. It is Veterans Day here for us in the United States. I just want to take a moment to say thank you. And then looking at the weapons right here, you can see the katanas look amazing. I do like this new blue paint that we're seeing on the handle. Uh, these are a little on the short side and I do wish we had a slightly more metallic look for these blades, but they don't look too bad. And then we get, uh, I believe the M5 right over here. That doesn't look too bad either. I think we've seen this before numerous times. Maybe the same exact one that we got with Hitmonkey. Could be wrong about that. And then we also get uh, this larger gun right over here, uh, automatic something something with the scope, uh, I think, and it looks like that's a grenade launcher, right? No? Am I wrong? I don't know much about guns at all, but that's what I think it is. But I do like that they didn't give us any fake stupid guns, I hate those fake stupid guns, and they did add red on this, which I think is totally fine, I think the red actually looks pretty good, so I dig these weapons. <laughs> So I could be wrong, but I am fairly certain that this is a New Mutants 98 version of Deadpool. As we see on the cover of New Mutants 98, he has the red pouches. Now if you look at the interior of the comic, uh, the pouch color does change, especially around the belt to the gray color. So I think this is really aiming at trying to get the likeness down from what we'd seen from the cover. But however, uh, you do see this really dark bluish gray color used for Deadpool in the comics. And I really think that that's what they're trying to represent right over here with this figure. And looking at the eye sockets, right there. Yeah, you can totally see that we get this really cool metallic dark gray blue color, which really looks nice. I mean, at first it really threw me off. Like as I dim things down a bit, you know, it does look a lot more gray than blue, but of course as the brightness goes up, you know, you can see uh, that there's definitely metallic blue in there and the white paint for the eyes look good. And then looking on the side, looks pretty clean. So I think the paint apps actually came out really clean on this. I'm really happy with how that mask came out. Now I'm not going to do head swaps in this video just because I think it's stupid to put a different head sculpt on this because it's not going to match the rest of the figure and I think it looks fine just the way it is. So I really think Hasbro did a great job of keeping the metallic grayish blue color consistent throughout on the figure. It looks really good. Uh, the only parts where I really felt like I'd gotten some splotching was on the actual Deadpool logo on the belt and then the left thigh right there. But then we do get a new left thigh pouch which is great. We only had one on the right side before and I could just easily cover that splotching up with the pouch right over here so that's cool. Uh, there's a problem I have with the left katana sheath for some reason I cannot port the katana in all the way on just that side and I tried it with the other katana as well and it just didn't work the back looks very clean so no complaints over there fairly consistent once again and then we do have peg holes at the bottom of the feet now the articulation is the same as the previous version of the Deadpool figure but I'm gonna go through the articulation anyway the choker does hinder the neck joint just a little bit you want to try to scoot that down as much as you can so you can utilize that neck joint hinge as much as possible you can see it kind of runs into it right there and yeah so that could be a little bit irksome it bothers me, uh, but you can move the head down that much. You get side to side motion and no head pivoting. You get the great butterfly joints right here. I really love this body mold. That's awesome. And you can't move the shoulders outward that much. You can move down, rotate full 60 biceps swivel. Double jointed elbows, the wrist turn side to side, hinge up and down. You get an ab crunch forward, ab crunch back, waist swivel, hips move outward that far. You'll kick forward that much, back that much, upper thigh cut, double jointed knees, calf rotation, ankles move down, you move up, and he has a beautiful ankle pivot. And to measure out this Deadpool figure, you can see that he is standing just a little under the six and a half inch mark. And then for your Deadpool comparison, we have our vintage collection Deadpool next to the Sasquatch build a figure wave version of this figure. And you can see the only difference between these two pieces 
these. This is the accessories that they come with, uh, the paint apps, and this one has pouches on the left leg and this one does not, but other than that, they're the same. And then to compare this figure to a couple other Deadpool figures, we have our oldest Deadpool figure from Marvel Legends, and then here's the other most recent Deadpool figure from the Hitmonkey 2-pack. And man, when I look at this figure right here just from farther away, I like how it looks. I like the colors that we're seeing right over here. I don't know, it's very different for me to see a Deadpool with this color scheme, but I like it. And then here's our new Deadpool next to our X-Force cable, and I think this looks awesome seeing these two side by side again. I don't know, I just really like this. I had a lot of fun posing these two figures around. And then here's the new Deadpool figure next to your average section scale figure. We have the Marvel Legends Big Time Badass Spider-Man. Oh, look at you all shiny thinking you're badass, huh? Here, do me a favor. Take this and get out of here and go shove it up here. So once again, when Hasbro reproduces a figure that just has different paint apps and just a little bit more accessories, I just consider those pieces just not for everybody. It's not a must get figure. This is just definitely not a must get. If you got the Sasquatch Build-A-Figure version, you're gonna be happy with that one. However, I think this is better. It's just a slightly better figure. So it's not for everybody. If you're a completionist, of course you're gonna get it, but really not a bad figure at all. And for me personally, I really like it a lot. So at the price point of around 25 bucks, I'm giving this figure a sub rating of It's not so bad. And I'd like to know what you guys think, so please let me know in the comment section below. Do you think that it's cool that Hasbro remade this figure just better, or do you think it's a total ripoff? I'm curious to know in the comment section. Let me know. Hit the like button if you liked the video. Hit the subscribe button as well as the notification bell. And a big thank you to all these people over here that support this YouTube channel over on Patreon. Your contributions towards this channel really goes a long way. If you want to see the latest in Marvel news, be sure to check out MarvelousNews.com. And don't forget to follow me over on the Instagram, Twitter, and Twitch, and I'll catch you guys later. Peace! Sharp and Prime videos. Hey, you should click one. Yeah, click on one of them. Or subscribe if you haven't.